everybody. Uh, please raise your hand for questions. Mike. Uh, Dan, um, well done this week. I'm just wondering sort of overall impressions overall beyond today. Beyond today. Um, what, what um, have you kind of learned about yourself and your, your game in the last five or six days? I know it hasn't finished for you this week, but uh, singles wise. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's been a good good week. It's been uh it's been pretty long. Um yeah, it's been uh you know, mentally pretty draining. Obviously you can't ever say it's bad to beat the world number one, but it's it was it was uh you know, a lot it's, yeah, it was pretty draining, like the day after and that the end of that day. So, you know, I could, um, you know, know what to expect a bit more with bigger wins. Um, yeah, it was it was difficult, you know. And today, you know, the nature of this game at this level, especially Masters, is at the end of the tournament, you've got to back up the win after win after win if you want to go go all the way and it was um yeah it was obviously today was was difficult obviously doesn't help that the way he plays he was very aggressive um so yeah it was yeah there's still work to be done you can yeah you know i can't can't be negative about today just have to park that and and go again really it was um it's been a great week uh you know i won't ever forget beating Novak, um, you know, world number one. It was some effort, and then to back it up yesterday in a great match it was was good as well. Simon, yeah, hi Dan. Um, yeah, hi, he, obviously Dan. he obviously played good level. Good level. Um, but did you do you think he's a, a bad matchup style wise for you in general? Yeah, that's. Yeah, it's um, probably, yeah. I mean, I didn't serve great, but I never felt serve volume was a good option either. He's in between a, you know, very good, he's on, he sort of stands in between a clay court position and hard court position on return and swings hard. And, you know, he doesn't really hit with much shape on the first serve return. So it doesn't give me much chance to get in. It's, and then when he's at the back, he's obviously praying on my backhand with, you know, his ball is heavy and it's just not, not good. Yeah. You spot on with, with your analogy for once. Rob? Dan, you're up to a career high of 26th in the world on Monday. Breaking that top 20 now must surely be a realistic target for you and the benefits it will bring for your career. Your career. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm not, I don't know what benefits it will bring, but it was, uh, no, I mean, I'm enjoy. I, I'm really enjoying, you know, I've not been home since I think before, I, well, like before Australia, I'm really enjoying being, being out and, and playing matches and, you know, I, it's, it's been, it's really helped playing doubles with Neil to sort of have. You know, a pretty good friend here. Obviously, I've got my girlfriend. So it's been it's been pretty nice to, you know, just be away and see. There's a lot. There's been a lot of issues in the world, and it's sort of been nice to be able to forget about it. I know, granted, we're in a bubble, but you know, it's it's been a pretty easy workplace to to play and to live in, and I've been just really enjoying it. And I've not, you know, I've not thought too much about the ranking, and I've just been working you know, day by day and, you know, got some more doubles this, this evening and see what we do there. And that's basically what I've been enjoying most is you know, just being out and we, we've, we've been lucky, you know, we've, it's almost like it hasn't existed really for us. You know, we've been in bubbles, but, you know, wearing a mask is not such a big thing. You know, we've not really had lockdowns or whatnot. So it's been, it's been, you know, we've been lucky in a sense. Russell? 
Danny, planning to Danny, keep on playing. You've spent nearly 15 hours on court across singles and doubles so far this week with uh, a couple of doubles matches still to come, perhaps. Are you planning on playing Barcelona, where I see you've got a bite to the second round, and then Madrid and Rome before the French? Yeah. Um, what do you mean? Am I playing playing singles or both? Yeah, single. I just wonder yeah, single, I just fatigue wonder, levels fatigue and fatigue making levels yourself in good shape for the French and then the grass court season. How much can you afford to play? Yeah, um, I will play. I'll play Barcelona next week. I won't play Munich probably. Um, I entered that as sort of a precaution in case I didn't get enough enough matches and. And it's been, um, I've probably got enough matches this week now with whatever happens leading into the French. Um, no, I mean, the, the doubles has been great, especially for my serve on, on this surface. It's been, it's really helped. And I haven't, I haven't fe ever felt really tired, to be honest, on court. I mean, I just got outclassed today and that's, you know, that's, that's the only, that's, that was it. I got outclassed, and he was—he's a better tennis player than me, and that's—it you know, doesn't it doesn't take too much to work that out. So yeah, but I'll play. I'll play as much as I can. I'll play all those events. I'll decide on Leon or one of those tournaments before the French, but it becomes tricky to go home with track and trace with on the plane, and if you know, so it's not. It's not the most straightforward lead up to a Grand Slam. Yeah. Elena? Dan, to, to what extent does what you've achieved this week change your expectations for what you can do over the rest of the clay season and at the French Open? No, 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 no uh, different expectations, just practice well, prepare well and and uh, and compete like I'm just gen I genuinely enjoy playing tennis and competing and having a good good battle. Um, it you know I mean some people might sit here and say it every single time, but I genuinely genuinely do enjoy. You know I enjoyed it. I, I lost, but I enjoyed it's another great time on the tennis court on a great court and. Uh, and I've enjoyed all the other matches, but I prepared well and I got, you know, I give myself the best chance and that's what I'll do for the rest of the, the season. And, and I think, you know, on the clay, I could take some of that onto the grass, you know, um, maybe on the grand slams on the hard, I've been putting a bit too much pressure, you know, looking to really want to win rather than when I come out on the clay, you know, I'm more focused on, my game and trying to get that right and then the result comes so you know there's things to maybe take onto the grass and the hard from this week definitely that's on Ray. rachel dan congrats on a great dan, week draws in both singles and doubles i know um you know in tennis you don't have a short memory how do you regroup from okay and your next match with Neil. Did Did you say how do how you sort of cut out? Did you say how will I regroup for the doubles? Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. No, I mean, um, yeah, I've got, you know, it'd be, be a bit harsh if I didn't give my full efforts for for Neil, and you know, I can't let. My singles results I have a hangover into the doubles. I have to let that go. That's part of you know playing singles and doubles. And and Neil's Neil's good. Um, he's good in that way. You know, he's he's energetic. He, you know, he's pretty level-headed. So you know, he understands if it's you know it's a bit, it's you know I'm a bit flat or or not great. So you know, hopefully. I hit the ball good today and, you know, hopefully I serve a bit better and we can win the doubles. I mean, it's an important, important match for, for us both, yeah. Thank you. Thank you.